one of the first things I would like to do is get the budget balanced right away. Get it out of the way. Because we keep having these temporary appropriations and in hopes that we can that we could anticipate what we're going to get from the state because we're a distressed city. Uh, and then what happens all too often, for example, for the last 16 years in a row, the taxes have just kept going up. This has got to stop. Number two, I'd like to introduce two ordinances. One, which be a residency ordinance, changing it from one year to five years. I don't think it's fair that anybody could come into the city of Patterson, live here one year, and run for a position uh, that they are not really familiar with. And two is to have uh, a primary or a runoff election. So we can put the top candidates in, and we don't waste the time of the public or the people that are participating. Ooh. Doesn't seem to be any anti-litter movement in the city of Patterson. You don't see that. Well, you'll see more liquor uh, advertisements and cigar cigarette advertisements, but we don't, and, and the, the most important thing is starting in the school. That's where it really should start, you know, not to litter, teaching your ch uh, children. But we see adults all, all the time in the city throwing things out of the cars, bottles, glass bottles, plastic bottles. We see it with our own eyes. So now we get to enforcement. Uh, your DPW department doesn't have the right leadership. They're not consistent. They don't come around when they need to. They, they, I've seen in areas where you could eat off the street. If a, if a person doesn't move their vehicle, they get a summons. But yet in the areas where they're filthy, they go around them. And then you see them driving 40, 50 miles an hour, a street cleaner, when it should be walking speed. And if you've come to the city and you've seen street cleaners, you'll see dirt blowing out in the air on top of everything else. So it's a combination. It is absolutely the residents and the administration that the problem. I've helped a lot of children already. Uh, young youth in my ward, uh, as part of my program to get them off the corners by speaking to them encouraging them to get off the corner. Some of them have actually took my advice, and some of them did not take my advice. And some of them are actually telling me today, which is many years later, Mr. Gao, you were right, we should have listened to you. So there are those who listened. Some of them became police officers. Some of them actually joined the military. But for the most part, listen, we're in a different time today. This is not just about politics. Look at the source. Where are the kids getting all the ideas from? Where's all the information coming from? Media, you hit it right on the head. Media outlet, does that necessarily mean what they're hearing is correct? No. And then where does, where's all your 400 nonprofit organizations that talk about God and helping the poor and the needy and the community? Patterson has 400 nonprofit organizations. How come nobody's addressing that? They get state money, they get county money, they get federal money, some of them, not all of them, to do what? To help the community. Get these panhandlers off the corners. They're standing there with signs, we want to eat. We will work to eat. Is that, is that difficult? To take them off the corners, feed them, and give them a job a few hours a day to keep them? That's what you want. We can do that. We don't do that here. So we got a lot of things that we need to address here. And we need a, there's no reason in the world why we should have 400 nonprofit organizations in Patterson. This is absurd. It's absolutely absurd. I don't know how many of them are churches, but how many of them are private organizations that get state, city, county, and federal funding? We need to look at these things, and we can address these kind of problems. Now, we, see, we see panhandlers asking for money on the city of Patterson, but yet they can't cross the street in the city of Clifton. They would get arrested absolutely. right away. Absolutely. Uh, well, well, how do you feel about that? I mean, why can't we do the same thing in the city of Patterson? Is it, is it... Well, the truth is, they are to a certain degree, but we have, we have a bigger problem in Patterson with the crime and you know, the other issues that seem to take more of you know, the, the time of the police officers. Um, there has to be a better way to address that, and yeah, I agree with you. All the surrounding towns right now, they don't tolerate it. They react quickly, unlike the Patterson Police Department, who go from call to call. No sooner than you finish one job, you're going to another job. So there's some discretion there that needs to be addressed because at the same time, if you bring a panhandler in, now you have to go into headquarters, you have to process him. They, there's, they have to have a different system. Get him off the street, get him in there, let somebody else handle that duty. There's a bigger problem. We're talking about panhandlers. Look at the prostitution in the city of Patterson. It's an epidemic. But these are not high-class prostitutes looking to live well and sell their bodies. 
These are girls that are ill, that are sick, that are drug addicted, and they're out there on those corners. How come nobody's addressing that? You know, after two or three times of being arrested, a superior court judge can really take some action and put you away. But put them away to get the help that they need. What are we gonna do? They're like night walkers right now. It's really infested. If you go to Broadway in summer and all those side streets, and these are children from all the surrounding towns. So listen, I'm not running for mayor, but these are the mayor responsibilities. But these are concerns that council members can address and bring the right people to the table through committees, because we have committees, police committee, uh, you know, the, the, the committees under the court, which is, um, I'm sorry, it's on the tip of my tongue, statutory committee. You know, we can meet with the judges, we can meet with the, uh, the prosecutors, we can meet with the police department and hold them accountable to do something. And if they refuse to, then we should be looking for more qualified people. I have already served 12 years as a second ward councilman. I have, when I, when I got elected, I did everything that I promised I'm gonna do. And I wanna do the same thing on a citywide level as a councilman at large. 